Look, in all honesty, you want to know why people don't like you? You want to know why your parents don't like you? You want to know why co-workers don't like you? You want to know why your friends don't like you? See, this is the thing. You're not doing nothing wrong. See, this is the thing. It is not because you've done something wrong. No, it's the fact that you're doing everything right. See, this is the thing. When you're see this the thing, when you becoming the best version of yourself, majority of the people around you are gonna become severely intimidated by you for the simple fact that they see for a fact. See this the thing, they see for a fact that you not allowing you not allowing hardships and you not allowing obstacles in your life to deter deteriorate you from not only being a good person but to throw you off your game and to throw you off your path you throw you off your path you got to understand something you are individual we individuals with dreams goals and aspirations anyway we said i we we uh, we come with great morals and great principles and let alone great integrity so at the end of the day it's not like that it's not like that we don't have a clear vision it's not like our vision is clouded no we got a clear vision because because guess what we already know exactly why god put us here and when you know why god put you here you now know your life purpose your vision is clear now so it's not like you finna be living for somebody else are you finna be going outside of yourself trying to partake in what somebody else got going on no you ain't you shed everybody out because you realize that you got your own distinct life purpose and you got a life ahead of you see this is the the problem is people are intimidated for the simple fact that you ain't doing nothing wrong you're doing everything right because guess what you because guess what everything that people put you through no matter how many everything that people put you through they couldn't break you see this is the thing when people see for a fact that you are not being broken no matter what is um being thrown your way they're gonna ask themselves one question they're gonna ask themselves one question okay especially the people that tried to hurt you see this is what people that tried to hurt you and stop you on your journey gonna ask themselves every time god bless you every time you bounce back you gonna because this is the thing narcissistic individuals nine times out of ten if somebody tried to hurt you or tried to hinder your growth they gonna they um they they try they tried to paint you out to be an individual that they tried to defame your character so at the end of the day you at the end of the day you, you have no choice but to prove individuals wrong it's not like you have it's not like we try to prove people wrong we ain't got no choice but to prove people wrong because nine times out of ten somebody defamed our character somebody acted out of jealousy due to the simple fact that that we due to the simple fact that one either we didn't allow them either one we didn't allow them to have access to us or two they couldn't control us three or they could not manipulate us into thinking and they couldn't a lot of people gonna get mad because they can't manipulate you or trick you out of your position in order to give them an ego boost no certain people want you to look at them in a certain no listen the thing let me just use this for an example if you are a prostitute if you are a prostitute don't try to get me to look at you as a virtuous woman you're not a virtuous woman you're a prostitute I'm, but this the thing you're gonna run across in the big prostitute but this thing imagine a prostitute want the benefits of a real woman imagine a prostitute going around saying hey you know what i deserve a man i want marriage but this is the thing what man gonna marry you and what man is gonna lower his standards for you that prostitute is gonna try to get, that prostitute is gonna get very upset due to the simple fact that due to the simple fact that everybody that she run everybody that she try to go to guess what they're gonna turn her down because guess what they're not gonna settle for less and that's why people don't like you whether in this thing if you a woman a dude ain't gonna like you and he gonna call you either he gonna call you um look either he gonna say you stuck up are you mean are you hard to deal with it's not that you stuck up mean or hard to deal with no guess what he tried to get you to lower your standards and you didn't lower your standards and he got really upset about that that's that's what no, not lowering your standards not lowering your standards is the key to becoming the best version of yourself because this the thing how would you not see this the thing it, in order to become the and see this thing when you know that you are becoming better in life your standards are going to increase not for on a bad or unrealistic way of thinking or um you're not gonna go based off unrealistic terms you but going based off realistic terms so when you look when you become the best version of yourself due to the simple fact that you know for a fact 
that you want it, you want better for yourself because you got to want better for yourself. You can't go outside. Look, you can't go in search of becoming the best version of yourself due to the simple fact that you trying to please other people. You can't do it for nobody. You got to do it for you. You got to do it for you because if you're not doing it, see, this is the thing. If you don't believe in yourself and if you're not doing it for you, guess what? Nobody else ain't going to do nothing for you. And guess what? Everybody going to look at you as a joke because you go outside of yourself seeking external validation. And when you go outside of yourself seeking external validation, anything external does not bring value. Yeah. Yo, let me tell y'all something. Your parents, your friends, your car workers, hey, I'm going to let y'all know this right now. I'm going to let y'all know this right now. You want to know why they don't like y'all? You want to know why they like? Because you become the best version, of your, best version of yourself. See, this is the thing. Not only did people try to break you, they wanted, they wanted to see you break. But when they don't see you break, they ask themselves, okay, how is this person? Okay, because this is the thing. They couldn't, see, you have to understand something. They want to hurt you. People going to want to hurt you due to the simple fact that they can't, they couldn't heal from what hurt them. See, this is the thing. Evil is when a hurt individual chooses to hurt others instead of heal. You didn't choose healing. You choose to hurt. You didn't, you didn't self-reflect. You ran away from that. And that, guess what? That's nobody's fault but yours. That's nobody's fault but yours. But see, this is the thing. We self-reflect because guess what? Like I said in, in, in my last video, it would hurt me to hurt others. And I refuse to treat anybody how they treated me because guess what? I don't want the I don't want the karma and the consequences that's gonna come behind being a bad person. Period. It's people. Let me tell y'all something, bro. These people really do think that they finna get away with evil and get away with lying on people and slandering people with no consequences. Nope. For every action, there's a reaction. You're not gonna. Let me tell you something. Let, 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 hey, karma might not get you that day but it's going to get you and when it gets you it's going to hit hard and, and this is the thing you guess what don't catch amnesia because you know what you did you know what you did yeah yeah but like i say people want that people ask themselves every time they try to break you let me tell you something these people want to break you but at the end of the day they but, but god not allowing that to happen so you want to know what they ask themselves how is he bouncing back from this how come every time I try to break him. Do you, how come I'm trying to break him? I'm trying to destroy him. I'm lying on him. I'm, I'm, I'm turning people against him. That's why I'm telling him he ain't going to be nothing. But this is the thing. He's not listening to me. He's still doing, he's not, he's still doing exactly what he do, which is being himself. You're not, this is the thing. You're not doing nothing wrong by being yourself. No, you're doing something right. But this is the thing. When somebody don't have a sense of self, when you don't have a soul, somebody they, you you ain't gonna be able to come. See this thing. You, when people don't have uh, um a deep sense of meaningful peacefulness, and once they see that you are peaceful within yourself, people are you're gonna you're gonna people you're gonna become a target for you're gonna become a target for um you're gonna become a target for um. For, for BS, period. Because guess what? People are going to try to throw BS your way due to the simple fact that you, that due to the simple fact that you have indeed been through a lot, but you didn't allow what you went through to, sh you didn't allow what you went through to break you. No, you allowed that to strengthen in you because you knew for a fact that, hey, you want to know what we know? Guess what we know? Whatever somebody, hey, whatever somebody do to me, it has nothing to do with me because guess what? You're hurting on the inside. And this is the thing. Look, look, you wanna know, hey, psychology teaches us that psychology teaches us that when individuals peer and prone individuals, when people peer and prone you, guess what? They're hurting on the inside. So guess what? I'm not finna be mad or upset with you because guess what? You're not doing nothing but making me better for the simple fact. You're not doing nothing but proving me right. I'm gonna prove you wrong, but you're proving me right. Yeah, so guess what? I'm the heal. See, this is the thing. I'm healed. I'm healed, and you're not healed. So guess what? Who got the upper hand here? The person that's unhealed or the person that's not healed? The person that's healed always have the upper hand in the situation because we got clarity, consciousness, and awareness over each and every scenario and situation that we run across, period. But yeah, let me tell y'all something. Look. 
not we we wasn't always like this, bro. Let me tell we wasn't always like this. We was bro, let me tell y'all something. We wasn't like this. We was we overlook. We the people that we we the people that the only way somebody gonna get involved with us is if we involved with somebody that had more social economic status with us. See, this is the thing. We the we we see this is the thing. We the people that's deliberately overlooked for the simple fact that the, it for the simple fact. See, this is the thing. You know how people be like they see the potential in you. It's more than potential. It's more than potential. See, this is the thing. We become it. We becoming. See, this the thing. And once we become, once we reach our full potential, and once we become our true authentic self, guess what? We blow everybody out. We we every we take everybody by storm because guess what? The power is in our hands now. The power was never in these individuals' hands to begin with. Mm, let me yeah, you have to understand something. We possess souls here. Souls is worth more than platinum, rubies, and gold. And, and souls is let me tell you something. Your soul is worth uh, but money can't buy soul. Buy your soul. Lust can't buy your soul. Pleasure. No. The soul, let me tell y'all the soul is the greatest riches that you possess. See, this is the thing. We possess souls. Souls is your only connection to God for the simple fact that when God created the human body, guess what? He breathed it life. He breathed it your soul into you. He breathed it life into you. Your soul is your life force. That's your your soul is your, your soul is your life force. Your soul is your prana. That's your kundalini. That's your tai chi energy. That's what's going to help. That's what's going to protect you against people that try to break you. Point blank period. It's your soul. A soul is protection. Because guess what? Guess what? How Guess what? Every, how come every time somebody try to break out, look, and y'all know this, how come every time somebody break out, y'all might be mad I and mean, y'all be upset, but every time somebody try to break out, how come y'all snap up out of it and y'all just go right back to being what? Happy, carefree, I don't care. I'm finna go after my dreams and goals. I'm finna go straight to the gym and work out. I don't even know what happened. That's God. Yep. That's your soul, and you know, hey, I'm I I'm here. I'm I'm here. When the power in the power is within you, you just gotta go what within and seek it. Yeah, it, 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 you're 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 intimidating people. See this thing, you're not like I say. Nine times out of ten, you was oh, you overlooked. Nine times out of ten. You was talked about. This was growing up. This is my thing. High school don't count, though. So whatever went on in high school, look, if it went on in high school, high school don't count, bro. On me, high school don't count. I'm in this just my opinion. Like, if somebody didn't want to mess with me in high school, I'm not finna get mad because I'm smart enough to realize that's high school. I don't care about what's going on in high school because I'm winning in adulthood. I'm winning in reality. I don't care about what's going on on YouTube because I'm winning in reality. I don't want you to meet me on YouTube. I want you to meet me in I want you to meet me in real life. So guess what? So you can see for yourself. Robert like that in real life. Dude ain't got none. Of, he really like this behind the scenes. He's not faking it. exactly. There ain't no fake it till you make it. It's become it. And because guess what? If you fake it till you make it, you're gonna get used to what? Faking it. But if you become it, you're going to get used to what? Being it. Period. I just, hey. Come out the dome, y'all. Come out the dome. Look, hey, it's beautiful out here. I'm doing a little walk right now. Hey, look. Y'all see this plantation right here? See, this This so beautiful to me. This so beautiful. See, this is what life is about. See, this, hey, this is what life is about right here. This is what life is about. You see all this beautifulness? Hey, y'all see that? Y'all, hey. Look, all the way over there, dude, I want to, guess what? I want to go on a date over there. You know how romantic it be if I can just tell you. Want, hey, when the last time, hey, ladies, when the last time y'all had a, um, a man that's going to take y'all on a picnic? See, y'all don't be, look, you, you know how much space we got up over, you know, you know how much, look, we can walk around, look, we can walk around nude free, because guess what? It ain't nobody but me and you. Yeah, but like in it, like I say, hey, let me stop being petty. Y'all know, look, y'all know I wouldn't be me without being petty. Look, oh uh, yeah, man. Another thing, I be getting on. Look, I be getting on the internet and straight trolling people too. I be straight up trolling people, like, and I do. I love it. 
But like I say, look, you becoming your best version of yourself is intimidating to people because guess what? People was already in secret competition with you. You just didn't know it. This the thing. Throughout your lifehood, you've always been trying to become the best version of yourself. Throughout your childhood, you've always been trying to become the best version of yourself. Guess what? People seen that and they tried to stop you. And this the thing. It's only going to take, it's going to take till you get older for you to realize that, hey, these people was trying to stop me on my journey because guess what? Ain't none of your friends, your friends no more and nine times you ain't cool with your parents no more and you ain't cool with nobody guess what the people that was used to be in your circle is no longer in your circle because you came to the realization that they was trying to hinder your growth and then on top of that they wasn't good for you in general for the simple fact that they wasn't good for you in general even if they wasn't trying to because guess what sometimes people not bad people sometimes people are just they're not like-minded like a lot of people that i stop messing with they're not bad people it's just you don't see what I see, and I can see that you um I can see that you have a one track mind. And guess what? I'm a lap I love you, but I love you enough to um I love you enough to stay away from you because what I'm what I see, you can't see. And then on top of that, I hate when people limit themselves. I hate when people limit themselves. I hate when people say they can't do something. I don't ne I never tell my own self that I can't do something. Whatever I want to do, I'm gonna go do it, and I'm gonna put forth great action behind it. You can tell I'm destined to be great. I, this is just the mindset of um, I'm not gonna say Alpha and I'm not gonna say Sigma. This is this is a straight supreme divine sacred masculine man. No Alphas and Sigmas don't have none on the on a um, divine masculine man. Period. See this thing. You got your Betas. You got your Alphas. You got your Sigmas. You, but this the thing. Which I don't realize is you got you got um a sacred being called a divine master. We're all the way up here. We make Alpha Sigmas and Betas look like shit. You ain't, I ain't. I probably I'll make another video on that topic. I ain't finna get into it. Look, but yeah, you was. Let me tell y'all something. You people was trying to stop you from growing and become the best version of yourself throughout your life. See, this thing is going to take you to become the best version of yourself anyway for you to realize that how much people was trying to break you. But this thing, when you become that version, when you become that self that people was trying to stop you from becoming, you're, you're going to guess what? They're going to switch on you. You're, they're gonna switch on you and they're gonna deliberately cause problems because guess what? They're gonna they still gonna be see this is the thing they know that they can't stop you They know that they can't stop you, but their goal is to try see this is the thing Their goal is to try to throw you off your game to where you can um screw yourself up. That's why That's why that's why if you a man, that's why you don't never argue with a woman that's why if you a man, don't never argue with a woman. That woman is trying to trick you out of your position and, to, and, and trying to provoke you into anger to get you to lash out in a way to where she can use that shit against you, period. It's about control. Because when you become the best version of yourself and people know for a fact that they can't stop you, they're going to try to control you. But if you do not allow these individuals to control you, they're going to try to control how other people see you. Defamation. Period. It, it intimidates them. It intim when you you wanna know why people be you wanna know why um people be looking at you when you walk or go up in a room or go in the stores because guess what you're in, you're intimidating them. It's in you, not on you. You hey hey if you a dude you wanna know why that girl turns you down? You ain't you want ugly? You want none of that? She she didn't deserve you because guess what? She already knew that she wasn't worthy of being with you. Same thing as a female. You want to know why that dude, um, you want to know why, that, why dudes be saying you stuck up or you think you better, uh, you think you better than the people or you mean, it ain't that you mean, guess what? You been through a lot and you not finna allow anybody to come in and break your inner peace. That's de defamation, point blank period. When you don't give, see this thing, when you don't give people access to you, when you don't give people access to your sense of self, they're going to hate you for that because they're going to want to benefit off you. See, this thing, they was already trying to stop you from the beginning, but this the thing, when they see that they didn't stop you, they're going to try to go to plan B. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to manipulate this individual into thinking that they, that they need me because if I can manipulate, look, if I can manipulate him into thinking that 
I was the reason behind him becoming his best version. If I can manipulate him into thinking that I can, that, that he needs me, I got him. But see, this is the thing, what they don't realize is, see, this thing, what, what y'all don't realize is that once we become the best version of ourselves, I said this earlier, we, 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 we possess great integrity. We, we possess great morals. Didn't I tell y'all that we healed? If I healed, and if, if, look, if I healed, what makes you think that you can come into my life and manipulate me anyway? And because guess what? When, when you try to use the manipulation, I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to throw it on the ground, and I'm going to stump it. I already know what you tried to do because you tried to do it. This is the thing. I already know what your intentions was because you tried to do it in the past. You're just trying to do it a different way now. You're not my friend. This thing, you don't like me or you're not my friend because you genuinely value me. No, you want something from me and I'm not going to allow you to get nothing from me. Thus, you hate me for it. You can't stand me because guess what? I won't compromise who I am for you. I ain't gonna lie, I'm finna, hey, I'm, I'm dropping heat, I'm dropping straight bangers this week. I got bangers. I got some bangers. But look, yeah, that's why. That's why. That's what I'm saying. You, that's why, you, this is the thing, and this is the thing. People gonna try to make it seem like you stuck. I am stuck up. I'm super stuck up. But I'm not that stuck up. No, I'm stuck up. Stuck up mean every guess what i'm sick you want to know what my definition of stuck up is i'm not about to allow you to have access to me i'm not about to allow you to um benefit i'm not gonna allow you to gain or benefit off what i accomplished on or what i did in life for the simple fact that you didn't have nothing to do with what i'm accomplishing and you didn't have nothing to do behind me becoming the best version of myself you didn't have nothing to do with you didn't have nothing to do behind my success you just want to benefit from me, but this thing, you, but this thing, once I, once I establish boundaries and tell, say no, you get mad and you deem me as the enemy and you start to defame my character. I don't care about you doing that because guess what? I'm the truth, and guess what? No lie is big. I'm already bigger than every lie you tell. I'm already bigger than it because guess what? I'm the truth. And even if people. Even if people believe what you say about me, I don't care because guess what? What's done in the darkness will always come to light. I'm not here to explain myself to anybody. I'm here to do what God sent me here to do. And I don't, and I don't care less anyway. Yeah. Yep. And it's, it's, it, you're intimidating. If you went, like, you're, you're, look, you becoming the best version intimidates people. So that, so guess what? They need an ego boost. They need an ego boost. They need an ego boost. They need to create some type of false. They need to create some type of false advertisement to put on you to make themselves feel good because you're you're better than them. You're better than them. That's my next video. I ain't finna get on that because you know how people. You're not arrogant. You're not cocky behind the way you act of how the way you feel. You're not arrogant. You're not cocky. You're super assertive. People don't see this is the thing. People are not used to individuals that are assertive and confident because guess what? If you are assertive and confident, you possess self-love. You possess self-preservation. You possess self-discipline. You know exactly who you are as an individual. You don't have to speak. And you and guess what? And if anybody speak on your name falsely, you don't care because you know who you are as an individual. Then on top of that, you know God know who you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's why you yeah. Yep. So people gonna deliver. See this thing. When you become the best version of yourself, you're gonna run across. See this the thing. Y'all be thinking, see this the thing. Y'all be people be thinking that um y'all probably be thinking that um let me tell y'all something. Y'all be thinking, dude, you you wanna know how many attractive people out there in the world? Y'all be thinking these attractive people better than y'all. These people ain't better than y'all. These people that's driving these Lamborghinis and BMWs, these these niggas not better than these niggas ain't better than y'all. That's what I'm saying. They ain't better than y'all. Those those are materialistic. You drive a Lamborghini, you can get a BMW. But and guess what? When you accomplish these things, it's gonna be great because you have a soul. You you when you have a soul, you don't live for materialistic things. You enjoy materialism because it's temporary. See, this the thing. When you don't have a soul, you're going to base your life based off a materialistic lifestyle. 
You're better than these people. Listen, we're better than these people because we have a soul and we actually enjoy life. We have eternal life force within us. You can, be, you can be a multi-millionaire and still be unhappy. You can be in a relationship and be married and still be unhappy. Guess what? You have no soul. You didn't heal. You, that's, a, that's a choice. There's no excuses. Don't be out here. Don't be sitting up out there thinking because people got some, some better than you materialistic that they better than you. No, they not because guess what? They don't have nothing better than you materialistic because guess what? They, you got the greatest gift of, you got the greatest gift ever, which is a soul. Th that cannot be bought and that never dies. Yeah, people winning materialistically but losing their souls. I promise you I had a girl get mad at me because I wouldn't sleep with her. I swear she did. That that that, that broke that, that I can see it in her eyes. That no, I'm saying she, like you you get mad at me because I'm not finna but just see this is the thing. You get mad at me because I'm not finna compromise who I am for you. So you just mad you upset now because you wanted to sleep with me. You thought I was gonna you thought you so used to sleeping with look, you so used to hooking up with niggas on the first day, and once you get around somebody like me that come with morals and principles, you look, you act um, you you can't you act like a little kid because you ain't getting what you want to. And this is the thing, I never in my, one thing about me, I will never, sex will never be my approach with a woman. I do not want, I don't care what you can do for me sexually. That's not my approach with you. And even if you was to offer it to me, guess what? I'll just look at you. If I don't feel, no, I'm going to just look at you and be like, nah, I'm good. And, and boy, that's going to piss you off. Because guess what? You know one thing. I don't need you. And I never did. And this thing, you can't manipulate. You can't manipulate what you got against me. I don't want what you got. Because what you got, I, this thing, what you got doesn't serve me. Yeah, yeah if you ain't trying to, this thing, if you, if, if this thing, I already know if I'm going to marry you just by, I already know if I want to marry you, point blank period. Because the only woman that I'm going to have sex with is the woman that I'm going to marry, obviously. And if I know I'm not going to marry you, if I know you ain't coming with me, if I know for a fact that you're not, been in, am I, you're not coming with me. It's not, it's not, that's what I'm saying, it's not, I just didn't want you, you can't get mad at me because I'm smart enough to realize that I'm smart, I see straight through you, and, and, and you don't want me, you don't want me for me, you just want what, you want what come with me. That's people's problem, you in, intimidated, like they get upset, like they, they get upset, I've had several women get upset, they get upset when you don't want to sleep with them, cuz. That they, be, they be getting upset. Then they be like, Robin Bear, you be talking. They be like, well, you talk this real good game. I know it. And I'm working with that big long. And I'm working with that. I be teasing women. And they get upset because when I be teasing them, they be thinking I'm going to give it to them because they be thinking I'm like every man. But until I say no, that's me establishing boundaries. I come with discipline. I just like to play. Yeah, I just like to play. That's all. You can do the same thing. You can tease me too, but guess what? I, I, who, who said that I was interested in you sexually anyway? This is what I do. You don't try to do what I do. Do what you do because I'm me and you're you. It's going to work for me, but it ain't going to work for you. Because guess what? I'm being real. You're pretending. Yep. It, that's just what it is. You yeah, you gonna have do like um you gonna have dudes out there they gonna get mad because guess what? You ain't you not finna partake in what they trying to partake in. You not I'm not out here partying. Like you know how many guys I had to cut off because they live a party. They live a um a party and um a sex rock and roll lifestyle. All they do is party. This is my thing. How do you go to college? How do you go to do people go to college just to party, bro? People go to college just to party. Man, you know what? This video too long. I'm finna end this. Stay blessed.